Hello guys! This video about sim racing could create some controversy and uh, if it succeeds uh, to do that, uh, it means uh, this video reached its purpose. To be honest, it isn't a video I'm proud of and uh, wasn't easy to make it, but I just want to reach uh, your empathy and to make uh, you feel the same frustration I have. That's because in this video I'm going to show you the top 5 things I hate about sim racers, the community around my favorite word, sim racing. Let's start, and uh, please don't get angry at me, I'm just uh, trying to be honest. <laughs> of respect inside of the truck is common, but keep in mind, a greater part of it doesn't come from trolls, but from serious sim racers. You hit someone without apologizing and or waiting for him, it's a classic example. Sometimes it happened I crashed uh, into someone, it happens to everyone after all, but I always apologized inside and or outside of the truck and in many cases I gave my position back in scene of respect. The lack of respect outside of the track in most of cases are insults after the race. People who can't accept the defeat, people who don't understand the rules and insult you for something legit, like a little contact. For these two kinds of people I have a simple suggestion, forget about online racing. Please continue playing your favorite racing game against the artificial intelligence until you develop a respect for human opponents. What are the insatiable? Insatiable are people who can't be happy. They always find something wrong on everything, and because of that they can't enjoy anything without talking shit about it. This happens especially when important racing games are just released. Let's take for example Gran Turismo 5. A lot a lot of people got angry when they found out the game had the, had the unfamous uh, standard cars. They were recycled from Gran Turismo 4 which add low quality details compared to the premium cars. And those same people complained about the poor engine sounds. And because of that they have sworn not to play the game anymore. But despite that, uh, these same people continued playing Gran Turismo 5, and I tell you why. Because despite the weak points, the game was enjoyable. Same with Dirt 5. I must admit uh, the game isn't a great chapter of the series for several reasons, but it still have a great feature and nice graphics. But the insatiable pretend this game doesn't have anything good. What I want to tell you with that is, yes, you can criticize games pointing out the weak points, but try to be honest and recognize the good points as well. In that way you'll have a balanced and objective opinion about it, not just delusional and endless complaints. That's it. Sadly, the perfection doesn't exist. I learned to ignore these arrogant people, and if one of them provokes you, I suggest you to ignore him as well. 
we have to isolate this kind of rude people. But what are Zwaggers? In sim racing, Zwaggers are people who think they are the fastest driver on earth. But the funny thing is, by my experience, about 95% of them, they are just slow or just average. So listen to my words, in 99% of cases, fast and very fast drivers will never, never praise themselves telling uh, the typical sentences like, ha, I'm faster than you, I'm going to destroy you in the next race. No, they are experienced sim racers and they know already their skills level, so they don't need to tell everyone how fast and good they are. So, if someone is arrogant with you and keeps repeating is better than you, send him this picture instead, telling him you're the cheetah and uh, then ban him without allowing him to answer back. Because this kind of people don't worth your time. Sometimes passion destroys reason, and some people embrace their sim racing games like their religion. What's the problem? They don't just tend to think they're playing the best racing game in the world without recognizing any weak point, but they even insult you if you try to criticize their favorite racing game, because it's like you're offending their religion. Does that look normal for you? <laughs> Ok, it's ok, you can love uh, your game, but try to make some research before starting a discussion about the game, because, uh, because of that, people get even misinformed. For example, I was talking with someone on, uh, on the YouTube comments, pretending uh, Gran Turismo Sport was the most simulative racing game ever made. No doubt, it's a realistic game, but uh, let's avoid saying bullshit please. It's evident that person played just arcade and sim arcade racing games in his life to telling me that. Surprised? At this point you will ask me why, or are you stupid? Maybe I pretend too much for myself, but the element I hate the most about myself is the fact I can't improve my current skills level and that's oddly frustrating, because of my youtuber job and my private lesson on racing games I can't focus just on one game and get better on it. So, to be honest and to avoid both modesty and vanity, I consider myself fast, but not that fast to be at the same t level of the top 100 of every racing game. And that's frustrating, because when you run a YouTube channel followed by almost 170,000 subscribers who constantly expect the best from you, if you can't give a great performance in front of them, you risk to disappoint them very easily. And uh, if you think that's the bad part, uh, it isn't. Here is the worst part. When you race under pressure just to please and to entertain someone, sometimes you forget enjoying what you are doing. You can't have fun while driving and racing, when you're supposed to enjoy that. Some people in the same condition can, others can relate on what I'm saying. And uh, you don't know how much I hate myself for that. <laughs> but uh, considering I'm an expert at creating problems uh, to myself, <laughs> I think uh, me and all sim racers who suffer from this condition we can fix this issue. Uh, I mean, I hope. Well, that's my top 5 about the things uh, I hate the most uh, on sim racers. 
Do you agree with this list? Let me know your top 5 or your top 3 in the comments. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in my next video.